Hey everybody, uh, this is Bryce Larson and I'm going to walk you through my steps for performing I Will Wait by Mumford & Sons the way that I did it at the Oyster Bay Brewery, which is the video that's on YouTube. I'm just recording a rhythm track on the um, acoustic guitar to get that kind of folky sound. Uh, beatbox for the bass drum, that's all on track one. Now on track two, Notice that I turn off the guitar there so the guitar doesn't ring while I'm doing this. On track two, I'm recording a quick tambourine part. So now I have both those percussion parts laid down. And I kind of build our intro here. And looking for the words because I don't have it memorized at this point. Now I do. Found it. Here we go. <laughs> So everything's out now, you're just hearing guitar and vocals. It's going to be a little while now till uh, the loops come back in. And I fell heavy into your arms These days of death Which we know Will blow away With this new song right here on the downbeat. Oh, so the reason that I tapped in uh, track one and then track two instead of just hitting the all in button right there is because I remembered that I had that guitar part from the intro when I was looking for the lyrics on track three. So if I hit all in it would have sounded weird so I just popped them in one at a time and quickly erased that other one. I forgot to erase it earlier. Um, took out the tambourine in track two with a double tap on uh, the off switch on tap two, or on track two. Add the tambourine. Now notice I just hit the record button on track three, too, on, uh, on the downbeat there. Dot hit it again. So now remember that track three is not linked to tracks one and two. So now I'm recording over that longer loop for the chorus, I Will Wait, and I'm putting all the harmonies in. And every time I play the guitar, that's getting in there too, so now there's four guitars going. And now I hit it once, it starts fading, the second time it's off. Turn the beat off so that the second verse feels a little different, with just that tambourine in it. Alongside my heart, so take my flesh and him with none. Tether mine, free from a lie. Double tap on track two, turn off the tambourine, bring it down a little bit more before that last chorus. Now, I have the chorus recorded on track three, so I can't do all in to bring the beat down unless it's the chorus. So you're gonna see now, I'm gonna come in with the beat first, and then add the tambourine. Track one, track two. Because this progression is different from the chorus, so it wouldn't work. Ready. Comes the chorus, track three. Sometimes at this point, I'll um, quickly hit the octave shifter and be playing uh, some bass lines over it. 
depends on who you know what the crowd is or how big I want to make it. Fade out track three. Everything off. Right, so sometimes uh, at the ending there, you'll see I do kind of a weird uh, line up my heels and tap out tracks one and three at the same time so that the uh, tambourine keeps going for over that little ending chord there. Um, I didn't do it in this version, but um, there'll be some other times you see it. If you follow me on Periscope, Bryce Larson Music, uh, and uh, Instagram, all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.